I'm Howard... I'm Howard Phillips Lovecraft, and today's question comes from a gentleman who wonders what a conversation between famed popularizer of science Carl Sagan and myself would look like. Well, luckily for you, you don't have to wonder any further, because we are very honored today to have a special guest, Dr. Sagan himself. Welcome, Dr. Sagan. Well, thank you very much for inviting me on your program, Howard. It is an absolute honor to be here to discuss the nature of the cosmos and reality with a man as learned and as brilliant as you. Yes, well, um, Dr. Sagan, I'm curious. Uh, both of us were famed skeptics. We believed in the supremacy of, of reason above all. So, now that you find yourself back to life, does this in any way shake? Your skepticism of the supernatural? No, oh, Howard, I can assure you there is absolutely nothing supernatural about my reappearance. Just as science and observable data can be used to explain the flight of birds, or the existence of earthquakes, or the development of lysergic acid diethylate, so too can my seeming resurrection be explained, I have no doubt, given enough data and time. Perhaps the very stuff of the stars is reformed together by mere accident and creating a perfect simulacrum of my former self. Indeed, the probability of that is far less than the probability for the very existence of life itself as we know it on Earth, given that miraculous state of affairs. My own sudden reappearance is but a statistical blip. Ah, I, I see. Now, Dr. Sagan, you and I were both admirers of the cosmos, the great interplay of, of planets and stars above, but I popularized something known as cosmic horror, and I'm wondering just what your thoughts are on horror as a genre. If I am being honest with you, Howard, I would say the greatest horror story is a true one, and that is the story of man's ignorance in the face of so much cosmic wonder we have at our grasp the ability to reach out and touch the stars. We have taken the raw chaos of the universe, and from it we have produced books and music and lysergic acid diethylate, and yet we threaten to destroy all of it with our vast nuclear stockpiles in the name of ideological expediency. That is the only story that keeps me up at night, Howard, if I am being quite honest with you. Oh. All right, then. Well, I, 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 I think that's all, all the time uh, we have for. Thank you so much, Dr. Sagan, for joining us. Well, thank you so much for having me, Howard. I think I will use my time to see more of this wonderful world, to see the advances we have made in art and science and in lysergic acid diethylate. All right, then. Well, that's it. Uh, please uh, do send in any more questions you might have. Uh, as always, I'm Howard Phillips Lovecraft. Billions. Thank you.